my channel i'm back with another video and i am here to talk about the real housewives of potomac potomac is probably one of my actually it is my favorite housewives franchise at this very moment for me um i have been an avid housewives watcher for years even back when i probably shouldn't have been watching the housewives like i forget which year the housewives um of potomac and atlanta came out but i know that i was in grade school <laughs> is so that i probably shouldn't have been watching it but i was like obsessed with reality tv back then and so i've been watching these housewives shows for a while now and i've always stayed true to atlanta and potomac i couldn't get into the other ones um like you know new york and uh what's the other one orange county all those other housewives shows I, I never watched those to be honest i only watched watched the black ones but with that being said though um you know potomac has continued to rise season after season they could they continue to get more and more traction each season and i noticed that with the past couple of seasons it's become a little bit more heavy and a little bit more serious with some of the topics that have been brought up on the show i mean just even with you know some of the allegations against some people's husbands and touching people inappropriately like there's just been a lot of stuff that's been going on that have you know drawn the attention of the public and so with this season and i want to say it kind of started with last season as well the topic of colorism started to come up because um you know candace and wendy i don't know if wendy has spoken out publicly about it but i know candace has uh in terms of her feeling like at least with her and i believe with wendy as well that they tend to get different treatment because of the color of their skin and you know this has been a topic that's been brought up um, on social media and in interviews and now we're finally having the serious conversation at the reunion now i'll be honest because of everything that's going on in my life right now i haven't been able to keep up with reality tv like that a lot of the past couple of seasons um again with potomac uh atlanta and even married to medicine I've been getting most of that through clips. So like clips that are posted on Instagram and Twitter. Like I pretty much watch the whole <laughs> season um, by watching the clips. Like I don't even really need to tune into the episode. And so I've been seeing all the clips floating around of the reunion. And people have a lot to say um, about this reunion. But with the reunion, but also just the season finale of the show... People have been discussing, you know, the issues with the cast and it's brought up it's brought up a lot of discussion around do we need to shake up this cast? Because there's a lot that's going on. And, you know, even with the colorism thing, they did try to discuss that um, more heavily in detail at the reunion. I do feel like from what I saw, it was cut a little short. I feel like it should have honestly the colorism conversation runs so deep. I feel like it should have been an entire episode or an entire segment because I, it just felt very short it felt like a lot was cut out that we probably needed to see um and i do wonder if any of it was cut to protect certain cast members that's a theory that's been circulating in my mind um but i'm glad that they're at least starting to have the conversation and from what i saw i really appreciated the fact that ashley did acknowledge her privilege she acknowledged you know her light skin privilege and you know, Candace got emotional because she's like, you know, just to acknowledge that it's there makes a huge difference. Because unlike Giselle, you know, Giselle pretty much kind of dismissed the whole colorism thing. Even Robin, to a certain extent, kind of dismissed it. And I don't think Candace was trying to outright call them colorists, even though the internet is doing that. Um, but I think Candace just wanted to have the conversation because she's like, even if you're doing it subconsciously, you want to be very mindful of that and you want to be very mindful of how you might treat someone unaware of the fact that you're looking at this person or you are naming this person as more aggressive or more combative when honestly almost everyone on the cast with maybe the exception of karen um they all do the same thing they all yell they all scream they all fight they all call each other horrible names like they all 
they've all been aggressive at one point, but it's only really been Candace and Wendy that have been given those names of, you know, aggressive and overly emotional. But then, and as producers showed, Robin has had her fair share of getting in people's faces, but no one has ever really accused her of being aggressive or really you know got on her as bad as they do candace and i do kind of agree with that i do feel like candace gets a lot of backlash and pushback from the cast and the public and you could suggest that there's some underlying colorism because again if you have people on a cast and they're all doing the same things and they're all making the same mistakes why is one person being held more accountable than the, than the next and you kind of have to acknowledge that there is a pattern that the lighter skinned women on the cast they don't get held as respons as much responsible as the darker skinned women on the cast and so with that being said you know i am glad that they had that conversation but it almost felt kind of empty it was almost like okay so y'all acknowledged it and you know mia did say like hey um there is some work to do and so i appreciate the fact that she said that but like what are the next steps like what wh how are we going to fix this problem if there is a problem with colorism on this show and so i feel like a lot of that was missing and i feel like it kind of got brushed off but we'll see. I'm hoping that maybe in the future, like, it doesn't become as much of an issue. Now, another critique that a lot of people have been uh, having among this cast. Honestly, people have been coming for Giselle and Robin's necks the entire season. And I can't even sit here and say it's unwarranted because it's not. I mean, and listen, I've never really had any, like, really strong feelings towards Giselle until this season yes Giselle has always been messy she's always been in other people's business but I never like really disliked her like it wasn't like you know she came on my tv screen and I was like oh like I don't like her like I I genuinely liked every single person on this cast until this season and even before like even when Monique and Candace got to the whole debacle I was on both of their sides actually like I understood both sides and I didn't want Monique to leave um, but I also understand, you know, Candace's perspective. And I actually really like Candace. I've never, um, you know, some people have started to come around to Candace. I've always, you know, been a fan of Candace. But back to Giselle and Robin. I've never really had an issue with them for real until this season. Giselle kind of rubbed me the wrong... Actually, no, Giselle really rubbed me the wrong way when she had started those allegations against Chris. To me, just my personal opinion, I feel like she started to change up her story when people weren't buying it. I felt like when she started to look bad, that's when she tried to change it to be like, oh, well, you know, Chris didn't do anything necessarily. It just was, I felt uncomfortable. It maybe it's just me, but I don't feel like that's how she presented it. I feel like the way that she presented it and the way that she kind of like set up the scene, like for her to wait until the cameras were rolling for one, and then kind of just the way that it was framed, I do feel like she was trying to make it seem like Chris was being inappropriate with her. I felt like it wasn't until like throughout the season and like as time went on when people were like, yo, like where is this coming from? I felt like that's when she started to backpedal and be like, oh, well, no, no, no. I'm not saying it was necessarily Chris that made me feel uncomfortable. I was just uncomfortable with the situation. I felt like had Giselle just said that off rip, it wouldn't have been as bad. I know some people have said that Candace was the one that kind of egged it on and made it a bigger deal than what it was. But I understood why Candace took it so seriously because she's just like, oh no, we're not about to do this. Because I feel like Candace peaked game. I feel like she was like, okay, you're coming to me months after the fact when the cameras are rolling saying that Chris made you feel uncomfortable. I feel like you're trying to start some type of storyline here against my husband. And I feel like you are trying to, you know, create this narrative and the storyline against my marriage. So I could see why Candace got into protective mode to say, uh-uh, no, 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 we're not about to do this and i think that's why she freaked out because she's like oh no you're not about to come, come for my marriage because again this is not the first time giselle has came for someone's marriage and i think that's also part of why people are getting so fed up with her <sighs> giselle is now trying to make it seem like it was more so her feeling that way than chris making it making it making her feel that way but honestly and truthfully i do feel like giselle had ill intentions from the very beginning and it honestly made me side eye her and just not even want her on the show at this point i just think it's really foul to even try to start some stuff like that and when it comes to robin again people have complained for years that robin is so boring and x y and z 
I personally didn't mind. I kind of liked, I liked Robin in the beginning. Like, I really liked Robin. I liked how relatable she was or her storyline was. Sometimes you need those people that have relatable stories that aren't necessarily bringing, like, a whole bunch of drama or, or in a bunch of mess, but just have relatable issues that you're going through. So I really liked Robin in the beginning. But now I just feel like her energy has changed. I feel like she's gotten real childish. And the moment that really turned me off from Robin was that whole situation with Mia and Wendy. I felt like Robin was like egging on that whole situation. And her just having the um her phone. Hold on, let me my phone's on charger. <laughs> having her phone and like recording like she's in freaking middle school. Like it just was so like, it just turned me off so bad from her. Because I'm just like, why are you acting like that? And then for them to not even be... Honestly, that whole situation with Wendy pissed me off. And the fact that they still don't seem to have any kind of remorse or care for this woman. I know that her and uh, her and Robin, Wendy and Robin, I think they had made up at some point when, you know, they were filming. I don't know. It's just, you know, I really don't like the way that things are going with this cast like it just it at first it felt fun and you know playful shade and this and that but I feel like ever since that situation with Monique happened it's just kind of gotten way too serious and so that kind of brings me to my next point um which is that you know where do we go from here where do we go with this cast a lot of people have been calling for cast members to be fired specifically um Giselle and Robin um not just not just because of the roles they played on this season and how it kind of left a sour taste in people's mouths but also just the simple fact that when you're on a reality tv show you are expected to share your life and it seemed as though that robin and giselle were hiding a lot of what was going on in their personal lives which you're not supposed to do because you sign a contract to agree to share things about your personal lives but also they took that energy that they could have used to share their stories their own personal stories to attack other people and make other people their storylines and i think it really rubbed people the wrong way and I low-key think it rubbed Andy the wrong way. I think Andy's starting to get sick of it. Um, when that whole situation with Robin happened. Or actually, yeah, let's let's actually backtrack. So, um, so at the reunion, we find out that Giselle was dealing with some health issues. Now, I didn't quite catch what the health issues were. I just caught, like, the story of her having to go get surgery. Her daughter's not knowing if she was going to come home. And that was very compelling. And I really wish you would have seen something like that on the show so it could have humanized her a little bit and so it's like she's hiding that and then of course with robin the big thing is that you know juan cheated again which now i'm really like all right because at first i was like okay maybe y'all need to get off of robin <laughs> and her marriage so much because at the end of the day like whatever works for her and juan it doesn't have to make sense to us because that's their relationship but now hearing that juan cheated again right before they got married and they still and she still proceeded to get married to him i'm like okay clearly this is some type of like business arrangement or something because like you can't possibly think that this marriage is actually gonna work in the way that you want it to with him cheating right before y'all supposed to get married like are you serious yeah i'm just like really robin so i can't even take her and juan seriously at all but it's like yeah it's like they're hiding that stuff and i think andy got real fed up because robin revealed all of the details about that on her podcast behind a paywall behind her patreon and i think and andy questioned her and usually andy doesn't really question certain cast members like that like he doesn't really get involved in stuff like that but you can tell that he was kind of like yo like you're supposed to share this on the show why would you save it for a podcast and then of course that's when robin got caught up in her words because she said that she didn't feel as though she had to talk about something that had happened off camera but then she expected who was it uh i forgot who it was but she was coming at somebody i think it might have been candace i'm not entirely sure but she was coming at somebody for not sharing something that had happened off camera even though she was doing the same thing and so it's just like yeah so i think andy too is also getting fed up with robin and giselle kind of keeping stuff from the show um even at the reunion andy had kind of like strongly encouraged giselle to share her her health journey um because she didn't want to talk about it at first she was like oh we'll talk about that later he's like no we're about to talk about it now and you could tell he was like we, we're not about to keep doing this we're not about to keep hiding secrets 
and saving stuff for y'all's little podcast. We're going to talk about it right here, right now, because that's what this reunion and this show is for. And so here's what I'll say to that, right? Because I'm usually not in the business of telling or even saying like who should get fired from what, like, I, I don't ever want to put that on somebody because, you know, it's their livelihood at the end of the day. And if they can finesse a paycheck and not have to share too much about their personal lives, then hey, so be it. Just all in all, my personal opinion, though, if they are going to be on a reality TV show where they're supposed to be sharing their lives to the public, um, I, I do think that if they are withholding that and they are refusing to share anything, um, especially because it'll like make them look bad or they just don't want to be open like that on camera i do think that if it sacrifices the show and the storyline and the entertainment factor that they probably should be let go or demoted but it's hard too because it's like there's so much press and there's so much talk surrounding giselle and robin that i don't even know if i could see them getting fired or demoted i feel like if anything this is bringing more eyes to the show yeah if it, if it hinders the show and the entertainment factor at all as well as the hypocrisy of you want to be involved in everyone else's life and you want to create issues in other people's lives but then you don't want to share your life i i do think there should be some type of repercussions um and then in terms of a cast shake up i think the cast is shaking up enough i mean i like mia i like her friend uh jacqueline i think her name is um like i i like the cast i like potomac like i don't really have much complaints about the cast i don't really want anyone new i don't know who they would bring in i know they tried to bring sharice in for drama value and that failed because no one cares about sharice no offense but you know offense yeah I, th I think we have a solid cast i know people have been talking about getting rid of uh karen but i say leave her like at the end of the day like she's the grand dame she's supposed to be the one kind of leading the charge so even if she's not bringing that much with her own storyline i just feel like she's a staple to the show you know what i mean kind of how like nini was a staple to the atlanta franchise i feel like karen is kind of like you know she's the center of it all so i don't see how you could remove someone like karen but then you know but that kind of brings me back to um a point that i wanted to make is that you know do you guys feel as though that there's still an entertainment factor with the show if there isn't true bonds there i think the main complaint right now on social media and even for me personally watching the show is that there isn't really that true bond and sisterhood that was there in the beginning it's starting to just get really messy and really ugly and there just isn't a whole lot of care and compassion among the cast and i think that you know some of the best housewives shows in seasons have that balance they have that balance between being messy and catty versus also being sisterly and being there for each other and i think that we're losing that and so it's like can you still be entertained by a show that is just straight mess and going at each other without the the bonds and i don't think so and i feel like we're at a we're in a space now with reality tv where it's evolving and the people that are watching it are evolving and we don't want to just see straight conflict we also want to see the balance we want to see the we want to believe <laughs> that y'all would actually get along in real life we don't want it to just be pure drama um unless you're someone that watches the zeus network then you know you're the exception <laughs> but i feel like most people that watch housewives they watch it for the funny moments too and the lighthearted moments and not just the, the bickering and all the other crazy stuff that goes on um because even like even during the reunion when they were discussing uh that drink being thrown at wendy and andy was trying to explain to giselle why that was wrong and why she should feel bad and giselle's like oh well i don't like her almost to say like because she doesn't like wendy that that justifies her getting hit with a drink and it's just like little stuff it just it makes the environment feel nasty and you just that's not really something that people want to see you know what I mean? And so, yeah, I, I don't know where they should go from here. Like I said, I mean, they still are one of the most entertaining shows in reality t television right now, in my opinion. But yeah, I'm not really sure where, to, where they're going to go from here. I, I don't really see anyone getting fired for real. There might be potential for Robin to get demoted because of her hiding the stuff for her and Juan and putting it on her podcast. I do think that kind of probably rubbed Andy and production the wrong way. So I could potentially see 
that happening to Robin with Giselle is kind of iffy because I don't even remember Giselle sharing much about her life this season. I felt like Giselle's storyline was intertwined with being messy with everyone else. And so, yeah, it's like, you know, if you're not sharing your life with the, you know, with the world, then it's like, what's really the point of you having a full-time role? Um, I know there was rumors too that Kenya from Atlanta, she had gotten demoted or offered a demoted role because she wouldn't share a lot of her life. Um, she ended up just not even taking it and not being on the show. But then, of course, eventually she returned. But, um, so yeah, I could I could see that happening, actually. I could see them being offered a front-of-the-show role um, as a repercussion for not, you know, being open and honest on the show. And, um, yeah, I don't know. But let me know what your guys' thoughts are. Um, on this video, let me know what your guys' thoughts are on the current cast. Do you guys think they need to shake up? Do you think the cast is fine? Also, let me know your thoughts about Robin and Giselle. <laughs> let me know all your thoughts about um, the Housewives of Potomac and where they stand right now. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys give it a big thumbs up. And make sure that you guys subscribe to my channel so you guys can see me talk about more topics like the Housewives, pop culture, whatever you like. <laughs> make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Oh.